Hey guys, this is George from Georgia on Apple and on this video I'm going to be showing you what's in my dock version 1.2 so basically that means version 1 that means it's 2009 and um, .2 that means it's February so um, like for example next month the video is going to be called version 1.3 and like that till um, 2010 and um, in sequence so first of all I have finder like everybody has <clears throat> then I have Safari and Firefox um, currently I'm using Safari because I always liked it better than Firefox but um, like uh, two weeks ago I've been having some problems with Safari and I started using Firefox they're both really good browsers but um, I prefer Safari and I have um, Newsfire, which is a um, RSS feed um, reader, and it's very good. But I don't use it much because um, I only have four feeds, so it's not um, really that much useful to me. Um, but it's a very good RSS feed administrator. Um, iChat for my iChat account, and Microsoft Messenger for my Hotmail account. Twitterific for my Twitter account, by the way, it's Georgia One Apple, um, my username. Um, mail, which I started using because now I have two Gmail accounts and I can't use my Google Notifier for both, so I have to use mail for the other one. iCal, um, Things, which is a very good to do list um, manager. AOL Radio. Um, which is very nice for listening to music and everything. Um, iTunes and MP Freaker, which automatically downloads lyrics, album artwork, and um, you know all the album names and track number and all the details from song on your iTunes library. Then I have my BitTorrents. Um, Frostwire, uTorrent, Transmission, and XTorrent. Now, currently I use Frostwire to download music and Transmission and uTorrent to download files from the web. And I have GetTube for downloading videos from YouTube. And I'm going to be uploading a tutorial for how to download videos from YouTube in high definition because GetTube um, downloads them in um, very poor quality. so. It's a very nice trick, the one I'm going to show you next. Photo Booth, iPaint, which is like a paint program on Windows for um, free drawing and painting and doing um, anything you want. iWatermark, for adding watermarks to your pictures. Rapido Resizer, um, iWeb, and I'm currently working on a website, so stay tuned for that. GarageBand, which is um, a program I used for my soundtrack on the intro video. ScreenFlow, which I'm using to record my video. iMovie 09 and LiveType. Um, I don't use Final Cut Express. Um, it's too complex and kind of complicated for me. Um, and I'm not a uh, very good. Um, I mean, I'm not. Uh, I'm not gonna use it that much since I only do videos about um, my Mac and things like that. I don't do professional videos or anything like that. So I just stay with iMovie 09 which is a very good program. Then I have iDVD which is my um, DVD application. <laughs> the only one I have. And I don't use it much but currently I'm working on three um, videos which I have to import to my Mac, edit them and then burn them to a DVD. DVD. So now I have um, uh, I have the app in my dock for easy access. Text edit and I work on nine. Um, VMware Fusion streamer from Toast Ten. Um, IceQuint for um, IceQuint and Rockshow Crunch for um, re 
reducing the size of your videos and making them um, Apple TV and iPod compatible so it's um, they are both very good apps um, Chris Jason his username will pop up right now and also a video he shows how to use this app and I'm also gonna do a video about this and about this one too then I have Toast 10 which is my um, um, my DVD burner, CD burner, anything you want. It's a very good um, CD and DVD manager. Handbrake for copying DVDs and movies. Mac Shutdown X, which is a very nice app for, for example, leaving a timer on, and when the timer finishes, um, your Mac shuts down, or um, leaving a Safari download on, and when it finishes, it shut down. It shuts down. So it's a very nice app. Um, Liquid CD, which is almost like the same. I mean, it has the same function as Toast Titanium, but it's kind of too simple and basic. Um, but it's very good if you're like only copying MP3 CDs or something like that, or pictures. KCN Screw and iSerial Reader for serial numbers for programs. I I try I or Chiver. Sorry about that. Um, which is a, it's an app similar to Dion Archiver, but um, what's nice about this is that you can also compress files, and add passwords, and um, that's it. Oh, and you can also convert um, archives, so uh, you can convert a zip file to another um, archive extension file. Split and Concat, which I use to split my large files so I can upload them to Mediafire App Cleaner for moving apps Onyx, ID Frag, Grand Perspective, Tech Tool Pro 5 and Checkup are my maintenance apps so Onyx is a very good software and hardware maintenance app ID Frag defragments your hard drive Grand Perspective for um, scanning your hard drive or any folder and file you want and see how big it is and all the directories inside. Tech Tool Pro 5 which is a very nice maintenance app, hardware maintenance app and um, it also has disk defragmentation de so um, it does the same thing as IDFrag so I'm thinking about removing the, I, I'm thinking about removing IDFrag um, then I have Checkup, which is um, uh, it's almost similar to Tech Tool Pro 5, but it controls, for example, your RAM, your CPU, um, your all your hardware, and it also has some safe tools, Activity Monitor, Terminal, and Software Update. And then on my stack side, I have Applications, Documents, and Games and then my trash bin so that's been what's in my dock version 1.2 um, if you see any of these apps which you would like for me to post a video just send me a message and um, I'll be glad to do a tutorial and a guide on how to get it for free and how to use it and everything so thank you for watching guys and remember to comment, rate, and subscribe and goodbye.